Hello everyone, this is um, part one of a tutorial for 100 hours. Which is a tune I wrote myself a few years ago. We are in A minor, so we need our C levers down and our F levers down. Um, yeah, I'll just play it through for you now so you can hear how it sounds. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So the first phrase um, begins with an F arpeggio, I'll just play it through for you so you know it sounds. Um, so the F arpeggio is just thumb on F, third on A, second on C, and thumb on F. And you play up that. And then as you play the F with your thumb, you place your second and third, so you play down three. And then you go up back to the E as you place your fingers down for the A arpeggio. So the A arpeggio is just A, a fourth on A, C, a third on C, second on E, and the thumb on A. You want to try that on the F arpeggio? One, two, three. And as you play that, your left hand um, is just doing chords throughout this whole piece. So um, it starts with an F chord, so F, C, F. And then you cross your second and thumb over and play G, A. Um, so that pattern is the same pattern that you use for all the chords in the piece. So in, um, put, to put the left and right hand together, um, the right hand comes 
in just after the left, so it sounds like this. So um, to get into the next phrase, you just play a, uh, like a kind of quick B C with your third and uh, third and second, and your thumb is on the D, ready for the next um, passage, um, which goes like this. I'll just play the right hand of the second phrase. So all that is, is you go up um, the little upbeat, B and C, and then with your thumb you play a D and then second on B, and you uh, move your thumb down to play the B again, and you do the same movement but you kind of move down to the G instead of the B, and then you place your um, th three fingers on up from E, so E, G, A, miss out the F. And then um, do an octave, octave movement then. So you move your, you've just played the A with your thumb and you move your fourth down to the A. And then it's just an octave on the C. So that whole phrase should sound like this. And whilst you play that, your um, left hand just play the G chord. we have this. Oh, sorry, start from an F. So we've just played this phrase. into the next phrase. So um, we go up three from A, move our second back down to the A and our thumb up to the D, and two down from C, and that same kind of pattern in terms of the in terms of the rhythm, um, thumb on C, third on G, and then thumb up to the A, and then instead of the thumb on C, we play the second on B, and then up to the D again, and then down three from the A, down three from C to A, and then up a C octave. So that whole thing should sound like this. Try that. Try without 
the chords first and then we can add the chords in the middle. So up three from A. from C and then your third goes to A and your thumb um, and you play, kind of play the A um, and then like kind of bear in mind that you've got to jump up to the A um, but you've got plenty of time and, it, and, and it's not too tricky so, so that's three up from C down to an A and then jump up um, so your third is on A um, second is on B and thumb is on C and you play up those notes and then um, when you play that thumb on the C you move your third down to reach for a C, uh, the C um, below that and then you do a, a go up a G octave three down from F three down from F and then a G7 so a jump from a G to an F um, and that's just um, the, to end that phrase it's um, three down from E and then you cross your thumb um, down to the B and play the A with your second so with chords that sounds like this from C. One, two, three, four. So I'll just play um, the next part for you um, and you'll probably be able to hear how similar it is to the, the part we just learned. So it goes like this. three from C and then down to the A um, but this time instead of jumping up like we did in the first time and um, we kind of play octaves um, going up so um, an A octave and B octave and then a C octave um, so it sounds like this want to try that? slowly. One, two, three, four. And then um, you kind of, uh, your thumb is on the C because you've just played that C octave. 
and you um, keep it there and you move your second finger up to the A and play um, a triad. So um, A and C, B and D, C and E. Um, so all together, um, that sounds like this. Try that. Three from C. One, two, three, four. And then the next phrase sounds like this. is a, a D and a C kind of upbeat into the phrase and then a G third, a D fourth and then a G fifth. So it's kind of all the notes of a G scale. So you've got G and B, D and G and then G and D um, for the last poem. And then another run down from the C and, C and B. And then this one's, it's like a tumble down, so it's um, um, I normally do three down from A, so you thumb on A, second on E, and third on C. And then you cross your thumb when you play the C with your third to the A, and then with your um, first and uh, thumb and second, So that, um, that, that whole frame uh, goes like this. Wanna try that? To the count of four. One, two, three, four. As you do that, your your left hand plays So that is um that's a G chord. part um, for you so you can sort of see how it ties together. I'll go from the um, bit with our uh, octaves. So it goes like this. of the first part that we had, so this part, I'll just play it through for you. Um, but now the, the phrase ends with a C arpeggio. at the beginning with a C arpeggio at the end. Um, so if you try playing that through, I'll call out the chords as we go. Very, 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 very slow. Um, after, the count of, um, after the count of four, going up three from... Up three from A. Um, 
builds up now a little bit. So um, we've just played our C arpeggio. Then we play a D, D arpeggio. you've just played the C arpeggio, you want to take your right hand uh, and place it on 4th uh, on D, 3rd on G, 2nd on B and thumb on, um, thumb on, B, uh, thumb on D, whilst you play a G chord. So you, ca you kind of have to do like a twiddle as well after you've done the... It's just on a B and an A. So it's the same, the same, it's like, it's like a, uh, an upwards moving sequence then after we've played the twiddle on a C and a B and then an arpeggio on E. So it's just an E, A, C and E. So, um, maybe just try the right hand for now. Um, if we go from the C arpeggio, so I'll play it through and then um, we'll have a go at it afterwards. It goes like this. Um, so all that happens at the end there is you play the E, you play the E. Place your fingers down on the same strings you've just played, except for your thumb, which um, moves from the E down to the D. And then um, instead of playing, so instead of playing uh, four, three, two, one, you play four, three, um, thumb, and then and then you play your second finger. Um, do you want to try that? From the C um, sequence, and um, try it with try it with chords. I'll, I'll play the chords, but um, if you feel more comfortable not, then that's okay. Um, so from the C arpeggio, um, very slowly, one, two, three, four. 